Welcome to our lecture online. What do we do when the radical is actually a cube root instead of a square root, like in this example? Well, at that point, what we need to do is cube both sides to get rid of that radical. So again, we're going to take the problem, rewrite it, because we want to use the original problem to check when we're done to make sure that what we found was indeed a valid solution. So what we're going to do here, since the cube root, we're going to cube both sides instead of square both sides. That way we get rid of that radical. So on the left side, this simply undoes the radical. We end up with 5x minus 14. On the right side, the negative cube is still a negative and the 4 cube is a 64. Now notice that's simply a linear equation. We can bring the 14 across. We have 5x is equal to minus 64 plus 14. That means that 5x is equal to, that means minus 50, divide both sides by 5, and you get x equals negative 10. So that is a possible solution, but we don't know yet until we check, until we plug that into our, into our original equation and verify. So we're going to check x equals negative 10. That's a negative sign. There we go. Okay, let's do that and see what happens. So on the left side, we get the cube root of 5 times a negative 10 minus 14. On the right side, we get a negative 4. Okay, let's simplify that. And of course, we don't know if that's correct, or if that's equal. So we have the cube root of negative 50 minus 14. Is that equal, uh, question mark, equal to negative 4? And this becomes the cube root of negative 64. And that would be question mark equal to negative 4. Now notice that the cube root of 64 and the negative sign can actually be separated. We can say that this is the cube root of negative 1 times the cube root of 64. And is that equal to negative 4? Of course, the cube root of 64 is simply equal to 4. And the cube root of negative 1 is indeed negative 1, because negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is indeed negative 1. And so, is that equal to negative 4? Question mark. And sure enough, negative 4 equals negative 4. And so, since that is correct, we know that this is a valid solution to our equation. And that is how it's done.